Hi everyone, so we're gonna be talking about displaying badges on the user profile depending on liked post number. So I have a website here and here is account dashboard. So I logged in as one of the members, uh, Dave, and then I have this my profile page. So this is just the information about the user, all right? And also I have this public post, what is the blog, and here, and I got this like buttons. So if I like these posts, I can just uh, click like, like. So I liked three posts here. And let's see uh, my profile. Now they've got this interactive member badge. Now let's go back to post again. And I'm gonna like more posts. Let's say this one and this one and this one. Now I like to six post and let's go back to my profile. Now he got engaged member. So I like to show you how to do this. For this tutorial, we need a jet engine, profile builder module enabled, and user profile page built, public user meta store add-on, and Elementor page builder free version. Hi, my name is Osun Wakabashi from Zen Ideas. So let's start. So I already have Jet Engine plugin installed and activated. Now here, so Profile Builder is enabled and Data Store enabled and this dynamic visibility for widget and section uh, need to be enabled, okay? And you need to install uh, add-on. So go to crockblock.com uh, and freemium um, slash tools, okay? And then, I think, uh, okay, so this one is called the public user meta store. Okay, so you gotta hit up uh, download and then hit add a new and uh, upload plugin and choose file. And then right here, uh, public user meta store master.zip and then install it and then hit activate so now we have jet engine public user meta stores so make sure it's activated and also go jet engine and make sure that the data store module is uh, turned on and hit save and then like you'll see this data store tab here okay so add a new store and um i'm gonna just put the favorite uh, post Oops. and then so that's a slug and then store type is gonna be um the user metadata and then max size i'm gonna put the zero so there's no max um so there's no limited and then count items uh, you're gonna turn this on all right and hit save and then next we're gonna be uh, building the listings uh, for post so go to uh, listings and then so I'm gonna create add a new so I'm gonna be using Elementor so uh, listing source is gonna be post and then uh, yeah post type is gonna be uh, post and then so I'm gonna just name it uh, post listing and that's Elementor and create listing item and then I'm going to just create a simple and then title oh I'll check his dynamic uh, field right here and then so you just post title change that to maybe three okay uh, I'm gonna add dynamic link so right here I'm gonna just bring that and then the source is gonna be uh, added to store okay. and the select so I should have this favorite post right? and the change that uh, label to okay, uh, like this okay. and I'm gonna have so I'm gonna just duplicate this dynamic link and then this time though, so I'm going to, um, instead of add the store, so I'm gonna just choose remove from store, okay? 
and then uh, so it's got get favorite post and I'm gonna change this to um, I dislike this okay so and then hit update so next we need to edit the profile page so we have I'll show you uh, we have profile page right here and I'll take a quick look so this is profile page uh, just a simple layout and I show you here maybe put that on side by side here so this is uh, under meta field meta box and I have user profile and then so I got those meta field right so those are image and uh, about me so this is just a bio and then job title so those are meta field so I'm just putting those meta field uh, I'm using dynamic field here and pick metadata and the metadata so I see job title okay and above here is just the first name and last name so same thing on the metadata so I got the first name and the last name here so if you click that last name and then so I got the about me so this is just a text area so I'm using a text editor and then right here so I can pick custom field and under field the under settings uh, field I can pick about me here so which is right here okay so it's just a simple layout here all right so let's just go back to the dashboard here and here I'm gonna just stretch this out and then go to Jetta engine and then profile builder and then so on the pages so make sure you turn the single user page turn this on and then single user page pick profile right and the user page rewrite uh, it doesn't matter if you want to pick a nickname or user id so i can just use a username and then the template mode uh, i pick uh, rewrite so i got the uh, uh, member directory and also single uh, user profile page here so i can show you quickly here i can just open up a, a private window and then so this uh, front end um, I don't think I'm logging into so I'm not really logging into anybody so I can just uh, log into so I'm gonna log into uh, one of the members so Dave and if I click uh, my profile so you see uh, his profile here right so I'm going to edit this page so I'm gonna add some badges here so let's go back to um, back in here and go to the profile page uh, which is right here so edit with Elementor so I'm gonna use uh, icon box here and then change the icon position to left side and then make it smaller maybe h5 is okay uh, make it this icon size oops Ooh. Okay. Move the, so i'm gonna just uh, type i'm gonna just uh, delete that part and uh, change the color but the styling and i'm gonna make it blue and content make it uh, blue okay now next one is go to advance and then we're going to use a uh, dynamic visibility and then uh, enable it and the show element if condition met so the first condition i'm going to pick uh, if it's greater than and the field i'm going to use dynamic tag and then right here public user data store get store account so pick that and and also you have to pick this little uh, icon here and go to setting uh, store so which is this favorite post uh, when we created data store and pick that and the context should be query user okay and I'm gonna pick number two okay and then context default that's okay and then data type uh, we want to pick numeric 
So we're going to create another one. So I'm going to just uh, duplicate this and instead greater than. So I'm going to pick less than. And then so the, the rest of us should stay the same. And the value should be number four. OK, so which means that if the user or member um, liked post between two and four, so I mean three, so this interactive member batch is going to appear. OK, it will going to show. OK, so that's what this means. And I'm going to pick another one. So I'm going to just uh, duplicate this and I'm going to change that. Maybe icon to uh, maybe word okay so pick this icon and change the color a bit here so instead of interactive maybe I can say uh, engage member and then style uh, pick less the different color here and then content to uh, title maybe pick different color here okay now so let's go to uh, dynamic visibility again so next, next one is, so let's set up a dynamic visibility for engaged member. So in this case, I'm going to just delete that. So I don't need less than, so just uh, greater than. Now, previous one, so interactive member is if the user liked um, the post between two and four times, uh, then you get the dispatch. Now, engaged member is, it's going to be more than, so more than five. So I'm going to change the value to five. All right. So that the rest of the probably stay the same and hit update. Okay. All right. So let's go to uh, the private window here. So this is, I logged in as a Dave. Okay. So that I can look at the post here. So, I have this, I like this, I like this. So I can like those posts. So, so let's just uh, like, you know, three posts here. Okay. And then uh, let's go to my profile. Now, as you see, I can see Dave is an interactive member. Now let's uh, go to post again. And I'm going to just uh, like, you know, add a three, two. So that's six posts, right? And go to back to my profile. And now change the engaged member. So what do you think guys? So this was a quick tutorial for displaying badges on the user profile depending on liked post number. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.